I'm sitting here next to a Creality K1 Max. You may have a K1 Max with an older extruder or a K1 Max with a failed extruder. You will need a new Creality extruder. There have been multiple iterations of this extruder. I wouldn't lose sleep over which one you have. However, I would make an effort to confirm that you have ordered the most recent version. I will attempt to keep that updated in my description. In this package is a brand new Creality extruder and we'll install it in this K1 Max right now. Let's have a look at the back of our hot end. This is the extruder cover. It simply snaps on and snaps off. Place your finger under here and pull up. Place your finger under here and pull up. You will see that it simply snaps on via two holes and two pins. This will leave your extruder exposed. We'll need some access to the back of your hot end. To do this, simply place your fingers behind this rail and push forward firmly and steadily. Then place your finger firmly on the side of the hot end and push it over. We will need to remove the Bowden tube. Please avoid excessive pressure on these bars or the hot end itself. To remove the Bowden tube, place your fingers under the extruder, your thumbs on each side of the white ring, depress the white ring, and pull the Bowden tube out. Depressing this ring will open up teeth inside the extruder. Releasing it will tighten those teeth to hold the Bowden tube in place. The extruder is held on by three screws, two here and one here. Go ahead and remove those three screws. With all three screws out, grab the extruder and work it up and away from the printer. Use your finger or a tool and gently guide this wire around and out of that clip. You can then gently hang the extruder from its wire. I've moved the hot end closer to the front of the printer so I can have easier access to the extruder. Pinch this purple tube and remove it from the extruder. This here is just some filament. The extruder is attached to the stepper motor with two screws. Here and here. Go ahead and remove them. When you remove the second screw, the entire extruder may separate on its own. You may discard the screws and you may discard this gasket. Your stepper should have come with new screws and a new gasket. Grab your new stepper, grab your new gasket, place the gasket over the screws, sandwich the two together. I will flip the ring so it faces down and the wire faces up. Screw it together and your new extruder is attached to your original motor. You may now slide this entire assembly back into the tool head. You will need to route your wires through this little clip before installing your new extruder into the hot end. Replace your little blue straw. This is a Capricorn Bowden tube. Push it down into the hole and then replace the extruder and stepper motor. White ring up, Creality logo forward. Avoid trying to slide it down from the top. It will not go. Insert it at an angle from behind and then tilt it forward and push down over the tube. Be sure it's firmly over the tube, you'll be able to tell because the screw holes will line up. Speaking of screw holes, now is the time to put the screws into your new extruder. Go ahead. 
ahead and replace the cover to the assembly. Remember, these two holes and these two pegs. This cover can be a little tricky to snap into place. Tinker with it and you'll get it. Be sure it's fully clipped into place, otherwise it may vibrate and drive you nuts. While here, switch the extruder to unlock. This will prevent you from forgetting when we load our filament. Go ahead and place the Bowden tube back into the coupler. Push it straight down. Resist the urge to test it by yanking on it. And you have successfully replaced or upgraded your Creality K1 or K1 Max extruder. Before putting your K1 back to service, it may be a good idea to take a Blue Scots shop towel and just wipe down these rails here so you don't have oils and fingerprints and who knows what else after inappropriately touching your printer while doing this job. Do not lubricate them with any greases or oils. It would also be a good idea to spray down your bed with some IPA and give it a nice wipe down. We'll go ahead and turn the machine on. Watch for smoke and fire. If there's no smoke or fire, we will need to calibrate the machine before we go ahead and test it out. Hold your breath and turn it on. With the machine booted, press the gear. Press self-check. Click on input shaping and auto leveling and press start detection. Good news, if you've made it this far, you have likely done everything correct. Press OK, press Home, and go ahead and run yourself a test print.